The moon is a big deal. There are a bunch of campaigns being waged there and the chances are good that one of them will succeed. The lunar surface is home to several moons and as we all know, the Earth is the only world without an atmosphere above it. That means oxygen-rich atmospheres and far greater concentrations in the moon than anywhere else in our solar system. This makes it an ideal place to test radiation-hardened nuclear missiles, or at least launch them from. This factor, along with some others, make it an ideal place for what seems to be an outstanding breakthrough in the history of space exploration. As China, one of the leading superpowers in the world, announces its inception of a fully working space station on the moon by 2028 that will be powered by nuclear energy. Stay tuned till the end of the video if you wish to get insights into what has been said to be a historic breakthrough in history. China The Land of the Dragon it has the largest population of any country in the globe and is the largest of all the Asian nations. It compensates around one-fourth of the Earth's surface area and takes up roughly the whole East Asian landmass. China is almost as big as all of Europe and is the largest nation in the world, with only Russia and Canada larger. China's contribution to the global economy was rather modest until the latter half of the 20th century. Despite its size, the abundance of its resources, and the fact that nearly one-fifth of the world's population resides within its boundaries. But China has significantly extended its participation in the global economy since the late 1970s, and since then, it has taken a commanding position. Whether it is climate change, AI, or the corona pandemic, it is difficult to envisage a world without China. Things were different 20 years ago. However, the nation with the largest population saw a nearly meteoric climb to the position of new world powerhouse. On the other hand, Western nations fell from one economic and social disaster to the next and appeared to lack adequate solutions to current issues. This was powerfully illustrated by the corona pandemic. Despite all of the backlashes and ill happenings, China has succeeded in making the world know of its existence and power. Whether it is developing trains that far a sea to normal speeds or building skyscrapers, foreign trade or space engineering, China has it all. Along with all of this, China has also invested usually in exploring the outside world, the depths of space. China's space program is developing quickly to support its potential to build expeditionary and power projection capabilities. Future battles, according to its science of military strategy, will break out in cyberspace and space with a claim that seizing command of space and network dominance will become important for attaining comprehensive superiority on the battlefield and conquering a specific opponent. PLA, People's Liberation Army, the Chinese military, is in charge of managing both military and non-military space activities. National policies like military-civil fusion enabled the PLA to use commercial and civilian space research and development as well as other resources for military purposes. Because it is a priority for China's senior leaders, China has been able to devote large resources to its space programs and make quick progress towards its objectives. China uses foreign technologies and knowledge through its worldwide economic cooperative agreements and its political structure facilitates the creation and implementation of long-term goals as part of its military-civil fusion agenda. China's military budget is purposefully hidden. The dual-use nature of the industry and the integration of China's civil and military space projects make matters more challenging. Since there is a lack of transparent and up-to-date data, a staff member of the U.S. China Economic and Security Review Commission cited earlier estimates on China's space spending in April 2019 
according to the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, China had the fourth biggest combined military and civil space budget in 2005, amounting to 1.5 billion US dollars in purchasing power parity behind the United States, which had the largest expenditure at 36.6 billion US dollars. After the U.S. budgets of 43.6 billion U.S. dollars and 39.3 billion U.S. dollars in those years, China's budget climbed to 6.1 billion U.S. dollars and 10.8 billion U.S. dollars, respectively, in 2009 and 2013. PPP conversions are not totally reliable, though as Beijing does not publish precise cost information on military items and services. In the global strategic race, outer space is a key domain. Security in outer space offers tactical assurance for societal and national advancement, based on the Chinese military's description. A number of nations purchase space-related goods and services from Chinese commercial space businesses. Moreover, China deployed 20 satellites for 13 nations between 2007 and 2018. China asserted in 2022 that it had signed 149 memorandums of understanding or agreements relating to space cooperation with 46 national space agencies and four international organizations. At least six scientific research will be carried out aboard the Future of China Space Station, according to proposals released in 2019 by the China Manned Space Agency and the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. In order to improve collaboration in fields like data sharing, ground system connectivity, disaster monitoring, ground-based space object observation, education and training, China founded the Asia-Pacific Space Cooperation Organization in 2008. And there are so many more steps that the country is doing secure its figures in space exploration. Hence, China's space program is quickly ascending to new heights. In the past few years, China has made leaps in both its manned spaceflight and unmanned exploration programs. Their most recent success was the successful launch of the Long March 7 rocket on June 25, which will allow them to begin constructing a fully operational space station by 2022. Now, looking towards the future, China is stepping up its challenge to NASA's dominance in space exploration and wants to construct its first base on the moon by 2028 before sending astronauts there in the following years. According to Wu Wei Oran, head of China's lunar exploration program, our astronauts will probably be able to get to the moon within 10 years. He stated in an interview with state television CCTV earlier this week. He claimed that nuclear energy can provide the long-term, high-power energy requirements of the lunar base. The declaration comes around a week after China's bitter foe, the United States, launched its most potent rocket and began the Artemis mission, which will last for roughly 50 years. The US is taking this initial step toward returning people to the moon. The race to space, especially to the moon, is getting more competitive. Some media reports from January claim that talks between China and Russia to build the International Lunar Research Station were ongoing. The station will begin hosting crew members in 2030, according to the joint plan. It is anticipated that the Chinese Lunar Station will be operational by the end of this decade or in 2028. China's desire to adopt nuclear energy may be a result of the technology's advantages as a consistent, dependable, limitless, and reasonable priced energy source. If Chinese researchers can refine it for use in powering a lunar colony, it will also enable astronauts to produce water and oxygen. 
When asked how he planned to generate nuclear power for a lunar base, the lead designer did not provide any details. Similar claims, however, were made some years back after Chinese space scientists disclosed that they were creating a potent nuclear reactor for their lunar and Martian missions. 2019 saw the project's launch with the aid of government funding. The reactor could, according to the researchers at the time, generate 1 megawatt of electricity, making it 100 times more powerful than a device of a similar design that NASA plans to install on the moon's surface by 2030. The moon will have a durable, high-power, sun-independent fission reactor by 2030, according to a November 2021 NASA announcement. If past rumors are to be taken into consideration, China appears to be gearing up to compete fiercely with the US's plan for the moon. The engineering design of a prototype machine was finished and certain essential components had been built, the Chinese research team told South China Morning Post last year. Much sooner than the previously established deadline of 2035, China will complete the construction of its moon outpost by 2028. The Chinese lunar base will primarily consist of a nuclear-powered rover with a hopper, an orbiter, and a lander. The rover is anticipated to be larger than the last two rovers on the moon conducted by China. Wu asserted that a hopper, a device designed to repeatedly take off from the lunar surface and bounce in and out of a crater's permanently shadowed part in search of water, might likewise be powered by nuclear energy. For the purpose of keeping in touch with Earth and powering the station's communication systems, nuclear energy will be used. It will also maintain contact with Earth and act as a relay for communications between Earth, Mars, and outer space. China has also expressed a willingness to study space. According to Wu, China was the first nation to propose construction, such a research outpost at the lunar South Pole. He claimed that there might be 180 days in a row of light at a latitude of around 89 degrees south, supporting extended operations for both astronauts and sensors. According to Wu, the Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 flights would construct the necessary infrastructure, and soon after that stage was complete, Chinese astronauts would make their first moon landing. After that, the station will be transformed into a world-class research center for science where astronauts from China, Russia, and possible allies will periodically work. However, the bulk of the time the station will be unattended. This announcement of the creation of nuclear reactors for the lunar colony coincides with China's record-breaking performance in the space race. China will be the first nation in the world to establish its own independent space presence when its space station is fully operational in the near future. Over the past 15 years, China has conducted five successful missions, Chang'e 1 through 5 to orbit, land on, and return rock samples from the moon, including the first ever spacecraft landing on the moon's far side. The Chang'e 6, 7, and 8 spacecraft, which are a part of the country's fourth lunar exploration program, are still being developed by Chinese experts. Wu stated that in order to sustain manned landings on the moon, Mars, and mass transportation between the ground and near-Earth surface, the thrust capability of our rockets must be increased by at least four times. The work in China might increase now that the Artemis has taken off and American astronauts are anticipated to land on the moon by 2025. What do you think of this amazing step by the Chinese government? Do tell us in the comment section!